What's up guys, Mudge here with Golden Motor. Today we're gonna to be continuing the tinkering with the Bafang M625 motor. Today we're gonna to disassemble the whole thing and let's see what's inside of it. The first thing I'm gonna do is take out the controller, but in order to do that, it seems like we have to take out the wire cover. Um, there's three screws up here that we need to take out. One, two, three. I did pre-loosen some of these earlier, so it would go that faster. All right, so we got the cover out. Now uh, we need to take the controller screws out. There's one, two, three, and then a fourth one right here. That's new, that wasn't there on the BBSHD. Seems very similar to the BBSHD from the inside. So, okay. so we got three phase wires, uh, got the hall plugs and we have the PAS sensor. So it looks very similar from inside. Um, sorry, we had a camera malfunction. Uh, for some reason it was shooting blurry, but now it's fixed. So it should be clear now. Um, so yeah, the next step is to uh, take the plug out. I gotta cut the silicone back a little bit. And this is the same process that they had in uh, the BBS HD. So nothing really different here. I'm gonna pull firmly, but not too hard. So you don't damage any of the wires and the plugs. But yeah, essentially it's the same as the BBS HD from inside. It looks identical. Let's see if the BBS HD grommet would work. So this is the BBS HD grommet right here. I mean, it lines up perfectly fine on the motor side, but it won't work because the screw holes don't line up. So the BBS HD gasket is not gonna work. This one's gonna have its own gasket. Okay, now we can take out the main steel gear. So again, looks practically identical. The shaft, um, the small gear, the pedal assist board, the pedal assist ring looks almost the same. Yeah, I don't see a lot of differences to be very honest. It looks very similar. See if the steel gear would work. The steel gear gasket is the same or not. Yeah, yeah, this is identical. The steel gear gasket is identical. So, so the BBS HD steel gear is the same. So that means this whole component, everything is exactly the same. Um, now, let's see if the Leckies will work. First, we have the Lecky cover here. Um, I'm not gonna put the steel gear on or anything like that, but Yeah, looks like an exact match. I don't want to put it in all the way, but it seems like it's an exact match and the Lecky products will still work with, um, yeah. So the Lecky products will still work with the M625 motor. Um, and the cool thing about this cover is there's a grease port here that the original one doesn't have. I'm not sure why they didn't just add a grease port to it. Yeah, I don't see a grease port on here. So I guess they tried to copy Lecky, but they didn't go all the way with it. All right, so now it's time to take out the motor core. Uh, we're gonna have to take out the three screws here. They're deep inside. So we need the extension. Just don't wanna strip them. It's 
So you want to be firm but careful. You gotta cut back the silicone so the face wires can go through. Have to break the grommets too. Generally, when you do this, you're gonna ruin the grommets inside. But that's okay because they're the same grommets as the BBS HD. A few moments later. Okay, so we got the core out. So it looks practically identical uh, to the BBS HD. The windings look the same. Um, the shaft is the same. The version two is, a, is the same. Uh, let's see. The board is the same. Yeah, practically identical. Um, let, me, let me grab a BBS HD core and I'll be right back. So I got the motor core for the BBS HD. This one's the motor core for BBS HD. This is the new one. Um, let me take a look. They look practically identical, except there's a couple black wires on the new one right here. I'm not really sure what that is. I'll have to dig deeper, um, but I'll let you hackers uh, get on it and see what that is and see to figure it out. So, and then uh, we also have the controller side by side. So this is the BBS HD and this is the BBS uh, or BB or not the BB, the M625 controller. So they look practically the same. And the, the gaskets are completely different. Um, so the gaskets won't work from one motor to another one, the steel and the motor core. Um, so if the gaskets don't work, the Lecky motor cover won't work either. I think I mentioned it'll work, but some of the screws are not lining up. So this won't work, but the Leckies do work. All right, so now we have the motor shell. Um, so here, the nylon gear, it's still nylon. So I, they haven't upgraded that. It's still, there's nylon, you can see in there. I don't wanna open, the, open it up, but you can see in there, it's still nylon right here. And the configure, everything else looks the same, like identical to the BBS HD. They haven't changed much. So practically in summary, they haven't changed too many things. It's some aesthetics, um, better cooling probably. Uh, and definitely they made everything more restrictive. So they're trying to go with a platform where not, not everybody can change the parameters um, if you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe, and the next video is going to be us installing this motor on a bike and testing it out and checking the offset of the chainring. Uh, stay tuned.